30 fighting in front of the church with another male black wearing all black with a red hat. Third party caller. He's now walking down 150 towards Melrose. Caller wants to remain anonymous. Is there a child in the corner? Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another radio video, and today I'm going to talk about reaching recent purchase of this radio right here, which is the Unit Unidin Bearcat BCT 15X scanner. Um, I bought this from Amazon a few weeks back. For around a little over 11, uh, excuse me, $111 and change. Um, this is a refurbished model, open box. Um, I didn't want to pay full price for a new one when you can get a refurbished one. Basically, it's just an open box. And I'll just let me just show you the box real quick before we just uh talk about the radio briefly. And let me get the uh, tripod up here, as you can see. Um, as you can see, inspect it, uh, open box, and I'll let you look at the box. You can pause it and read. Okay. And as you can see, the frequency range uh, starts from 25 megahertz and it goes all the way to 1.3 gigahertz. And it, it had all the um, cables and attachments and so on. Of course, the serial cable, the uh, serial PC cable. Um, of course, for a new computer, you're gonna need a serial to USB uh, adapter or convert uh, adapter cable, because of course, well, unless you have an older computer, then you're fine with the serial connector. But um, all my computers now are pretty much. Uh, well, I have a old, I have a couple of older computers, but for my laptop, I have to do, I have to use the USB. So I already have that cable, and I have bought that cable actually originally for the uh, Icom PCR 100. So I had that cable already. Okay, so this goes the box, and everything was included in it, and this was still even, um, it still even had the plastic protective wrap on the on the. Uh, Display and it had a plastic protective wrap on. So again, and I and the reason why I bought this radio because um I wanted to go to the next step up. My original BC 355N. I still love this. I still love the scanner, but I wanted to go to the next step up. So I, this scanner, I probably just wind up putting it in the, in the boiler room and hook it up to some other antenna. Because I'm going to be having this one hooked up to the... Well, right now it's hooked up to the disc cone. So that's where it's going to stay. And I'm going to keep this... Eventually this is going to go upstairs. Because like I said um, a few videos back, all my um, VHF, UHF, FM is going to be upstairs on the second floor. Because um, um, I want to have that shack on uh, the second floor for that stuff. for the uh, All the HF and medium wave... I, I can't be doing that on the second floor that much because of noise and stuff like that. So I still have to be down here in the basement for that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm setting up my... So I'm going to have my all my HF and AM down here, long wave and so on. And upstairs I'm going to have all my VHF, UHF, FM, and airband, stuff like that. I have all that stuff. I'll be, I'll be doing that upstairs. So, I mean, like I said, this radio is in good condition. Like I said, it's just a refurbish. And um, I, I'm not going to go through all the features on it because um, it would just take too long. And However, I'm going to reference a few links. And I'll give you my initial impression on it. And first, first of all, a link I'm going to re refer to is MarksScanners.com. He has a... The manual that comes with it is okay. However, he breaks this radio down in easy to read manual. It's, it's website. And he has other radios, but I'm going to put the link to this radio manual on my description. And the next link I'm going to put is going to be a YouTube channel called the Erod 
Um, hold on, let me, I'm sorry, I just had it in front of me. The Erod 1944 channel. He has a bunch of videos on this radio, tutorial videos, and I'm definitely gonna put his link below. Check out his channel. That's where I go to when I wanted to. When I, I'm like I said, um, oh, well, I didn't say it yet, but I'm gonna say it now. This radio, it has is if you're this radio has a huge learning curve. I'm gonna say that right now. It's not for the uh, it's not for the beginner. Um, I learned that very quickly. It's not for the beginner. So. Um, yeah, so definitely, I'm going to put those two links below. That's going to get you started with this radio. That's how it got me started. So thank thank them for providing those uh, those that, those that links. Because uh, without that, oh, I would have been lost with this radio for quite a bit. And um, so anyway, my initial impression of this radio is um, definitely it's a lot more sensitive. I'm picking up a lot more. Well, I don't know if it's because of the trunking also. Like I said, there's a lot of the stuff that I can't even not even cover here. You know, I just can't. It's just too much. But I notice it is a lot more sensitive. Are you red? It's clear. I'm gonna go 98, then I'm not gonna go over there. I rise uh, TSO base on the air. Now the audio is, uh, I, is I find this a lot better. It's a lot. It's, it's, it sounds more uh, richer. Um, with, this, with the other radio, it came in a little more, you know, it was kind of low. This one definitely um, amplifies that speaker. I mean, it's really loud. I mean, I had to I only put the volume about a third of the way, and that's way loud already. So definitely, um, it's, it's it's a lot. You get a, And plus, you got the signal meter, so you definitely get a lot more um, stronger signal. So, um Thanks to another YouTuber, I'm going to put his link on my description also. His name is Theo. Um, he, he has a scanner. He was the one that suggested that I go to, um, because I think since this have alphanumeric and it has tons of memory and all that, uh, for me to program every single, it, it's just going to be impossible. It's just going to be too tedious. So he suggested that I go to radioreference.com, um, sign up for the premium membership. And in there, they have all the databases for all, for, for this radio, for, you know, for, you know, any, mo any radio, mostly any radio. And um, basically, like, if I want all the uh, New York City uh, database and so on, I can just put that here. And I have to use a f program called FreeScan. It's a free program, and it's to, uh, obviously, you have to use the uh, data cable. In my case, like I said, data cable is going to go to the serial. Serial is going to go to USB adapter, and that's going to go to my laptop. And I have to run a program called FreeScan. And with that, what you do is, it, once you have your radio reference premium account, which I believe is thirty dollars, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it's thirty dollars a year or it's a lifetime thing. I'm not sure. I'm going to say more a year, I believe. And. Basically, with the free scan, you can it'll log you into the radio reference, and you can download the database and upload it to your scanner, which is cool. That's what I want to do. I don't plan to put every single little. No, I just can't. It's just gonna be too tedious. And in New York City, I'm near New York City, and it's very you know uh, tri-state area. Um, I get a lot of you know. There's a lot going on here. And that's the reason why I went with this one and not go all the way to a digital scanner because um, digital scanner, you know, I, as much as I would like, love to have one, it's just the price is too high for that. I just can't, you know, um, analog, I can still get a lot of activity. So I just wanted to go next step up. And maybe in the future, if I get a good price on one, I'll go a step up to the digital with all the bells and whistles and so on. But right now it's just I seen them I seen the two that I would have in mind. Um two or three I have in mind actually. They're way over four hundred, five hundred, uh, as high as six hundred and I'm not gonna go that high. I just uh, I'm not. I'm just not gonna do that. So definitely this one, hundred and eleven dollars and change. I'm definitely gonna enjoy this one. And like I said, I'm gonna learn as much as I can on this one. But but yeah, I'm, um so I'm going to put a link to Theo for, for um, giving me the tip on that. 
to go to radio reference and get the database and so on. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So like I said, my initial impressions is this radio is not for the faint of heart. Has a huge learning curve, but it's a, definitely a lot more uh, sensitive than my other radio. And I'm loving this radio. Just I've been using it for the last few weeks. I wanted to make this video a few weeks back, but I've just been busy with other stuff. And so there you go. So um like I said, check out the links below. And um let me wrap this up. So thank you for watching the video. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't sus subscribed to my channel, please do. And with that, I'll see you in the next video, which I will be talking about a few Goodwill purchases. And I'll be right back, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.